Okay, let's talk about today's really important event. The GST Council's 45th meeting is going to take place. In fact, it is underway right now as we speak in Lucknow. Started at around, I think, 11 a.m. We have uh, CNN News 18's uh, Pranshu Mishra joining in uh, with some details. I think we're just trying to connect with Pranshu. Uh, in the meantime, of course, the reason why this meeting becomes even more important from the market standpoint is that this time around, the Fitment Committee is expected to look around at some rate tinkering. Uh, from what I remember our colleagues reporting earlier, Tim C was talking about it, perhaps uh, some tinkering on the renewable side. Uh, that's one aspect of it. Uh, and most importantly for us, I'm sure all of you remember this one, right? Food delivery might start attracting GST. So yeah, this is what I'm at least looking out for. I think Pranshu is with us. Pranshu, do uh, give us the details. Well, as you know, the meeting has started uh, at around 11 a.m. being attended by, you know, all uh, the state's representatives. Uh, and what we are expecting is that, you know, the briefing would be sometime around uh, 4 p.m. this evening. So exact details, what are having the deliberations, yes, those, those would be made uh, clear in that meeting. But before that, uh, uh, there is a bit of news which came in from the UP's uh, finance minister, who very categorically, even before the meeting started, made it very clear that the state, UP state, is actually opposed to this very idea of bringing the petroleum products under the GST. So I think that also uh, sets in the ball rolling as far as this crucial uh, uh, issue was concerned before the GST Council because we all know that Centre was actually going to ask for the state about their opinion and already uh, some states like Maharashtra and Kerala have already denied this very idea. But uh, uh, the, the, this denial coming in from the BJP rule state that is also headed for assembly elections, that came in as a bit of surprise. But yes, UP has made it clear and be, uh, be, uh, beyond that, yes, uh, we are expecting that uh, the exemption on the COVID medicines that was proposed earlier on, decided earlier on, that is uh, likely going to be uh, you know, extended. Other issues also at the, uh, in front of the GST Council meeting. Uh, but it is going on where you know, uh, not much of details have been shared at the moment. Agendas have not been shared with us. Uh, but we are expecting that post 4 p.m. a clarity will emerge as to what all has been decided by the GST committee. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot uh, for that, Pranshu. Pranshu also caught up with uh, the Uttar Pradesh Finance Minister over the discussion on bringing petroleum products under the ambit of the GST. That's been a very controversial topic. But let's hear out what he had to say. We want to say that the VAT is going on the VAT. I mean, the VAT is going on the VAT, the petroleum prices are going on the VAT. क्यों इस तरह का क्योंकि इससे तो बहुत रिलीफ मिल सकता है जनता को ऐसा मतलब ओपिनियन है नहीं जनता को रिलीफ जो है जो व्यवस्था पर प्रेजेंट है उसमें ठीक है उसी में ज्यादा क्योंकि हमसे हमारा सबसे कम टैक्स है बैट सबसे देखिए हमसे जितने भी ज्यादा बड़े बड़े स्टेट्स हैं वहां पर बैट ज्यादा हमारा सब Right, uh, that brief uptick that we had seen has now yet again been sold into. In fact, the Nifty is very close to breaking the lows of trade, 17,600. That's where we are. And a lot of these metal stocks, they're actually the ones which are seeing a fair amount of selling. Tata Steel is the top loser on the Nifty now with a cut of almost uh, four and a half odd percent. We have Coal India, which is also down around three odd percent, and JSW Steel down two and a half percent. What we'll do is we'll get you more on the markets, but right after a short break.